So you've landed on this video because you've been asked to write a research proposal, correct? And now you need a quick and easy way to get this done. Well, you're in the right place because in this video, I'm going to share with you everything about research proposal writing. What is the content you should include? How to identify a research topic? And finally, I'll share a versatile AI tool with you that will help you write your research proposal faster and more effectively. So without further delay, let's get started. Hi everyone, I am Neha Grawal. I'm the founder of WiseUp. And on this channel, I make videos on studying abroad, job readiness, research mastery, and communication skills. Essentially, all those areas where you need to become wiser to succeed in your career. So if any of these topics are relevant to you, you can subscribe to this channel. And now, first let's understand what exactly is a research proposal. A research proposal is an article that you share with the academic committee to justify why you think that research problem is important and what are the practical ways through which you can investigate that research problem to arrive at a solution. Or in simple words, it means that you need to convince the academic committee that you've selected a research problem, it's a good problem to solve and you have an action plan of how you're going to solve it. Okay, now the main challenge that students face is how to choose a topic for a research proposal. So for this, you can utilize this amazing AI tool, Jenny. Jenny is an AI writing assistant designed especially for academics and researchers. With Jenny's AI chat feature, you can try to generate new topic ideas based on your area of study. For example, here I'm going to give the prompt Please give me some research topic ideas on super hydrophobic antibacterial fabrics. And there you go, a bunch of topics pop up immediately. And because I belong to this research field and I've carried out research in this area, I can tell you that some of these topics are really authentic. And traditionally, it would have taken you at least a month going through hundreds of papers to identify some of these topics yourself. Now to get best results from this tool, I would recommend that you be as specific with your prompt as possible. For example, if I were to write the prompt, give me research topic ideas in nanotechnology or material science, then the answer won't be as great as what I had gotten previously. So first, narrow down that broad area of research study and then after that, utilize this tool to generate great topic ideas for your research proposal. Now let's talk about the content of a research proposal. So the content of a research proposal is quite similar to that of a research paper except that it will not have a results and discussion section. Naturally, because it is in a proposal stage and no research has been conducted yet. Also, it might have some additional sections such as a work plan or budget that you will usually not find in a research paper. Now, the average length of a research proposal is usually 2500 to 3000 words, but it can also depend on the academic committee to which you are submitting your research proposal to. So please check the requirements before you start writing one. The first section is the proposed title. And here the title of your research proposal should be informative. It should broadly cover what is your research going to be about. And at the same time, it should be concise and should grab the reader's attention. After that, the next section is the abstract. And this abstract is very similar to that of a research paper where we are going to summarize the overall proposal. So some of the main sections that will go within the abstract is going to be introduction, literature review, research design and conclusion. Don't worry, I'm going to tell you very soon what information you're supposed to write in these. After the abstract comes the introduction section. And this introduction section is also quite similar to how we write a research paper. First, we are going to introduce the topic, share the rationale behind our study and why is our study worth taking up. After that, we are going to share a brief literature review of what other researchers have done in this field. Once we have shared this, we will go on to establish the research gap. So basically, what are some of the existing issues that other researchers have not been able to solve so far? And once we have shared the research gap, we will come on to the objective, which means what exactly are we going to do in our research study to fulfill that research gap? And together, 
all these components are going to form the introduction section after that we will come to the next section which is the main literature review and this is where we are going to share all our literature in detail so here we are going to compare and contrast the different theories methods results and examine the strengths and weaknesses of the different approaches this is one of the most important sections because based on this the academic committee will understand how well you have studied the topic before writing the research proposal also while you are writing this section make sure to paraphrase correctly include relevant citations and try to avoid accidental plagiarism now to write the introduction literature review and other sections of your research proposal you can use the help of jenny here as well First I would recommend uploading all your literature onto the platform that way you will have all your literature in one place before you start writing your research proposal now say for example you are having trouble in critically analyzing a research paper then here you can use the help of jenny all you need to do is give it a prompt help me critically evaluate this paper and what has this paper not managed to achieve fully and you will see that jenny will help you critically analyze that work similarly if you have some doubts in the paper or just need to summarize the paper then jenny will help you do that too now once you sit down to write you will realize that sometimes we face a writer's block so here you can utilize the help of jenny to open the paragraph for you or even auto complete what you have written and you can tell jenny that these suggestions should either come from the papers that you have uploaded or from the web as well Now while you are writing you can also cite the literature either from credible online sources or from the library that you have uploaded and you will notice that both the citations and references would come accordingly and finally jenny can help you polish your language completely make it more academic paraphrase the information and overall write more professionally and effectively these are only some of the features that i have shared but the tool has so much more to offer So if you are interested in exploring Jenny then you can check out the link in description it is completely free for you to try and if you want to go for the premium version then i have a special discount coupon wise 20 which will give you 20% discount as well now that we've learned about Jenny let's come back to the remaining sections which go in a research proposal so the next section we have here is the research methodology and this is also an important section because it informs the academic committee how exactly are you going to tackle the problem it includes the work plan and the activities that are necessary for the completion of the project so here you can share some of the theories on which your experiments are going to be based on after that you can share a framework as to how exactly you will tackle the problem you can also share different approaches and based on your understanding which approach do you think is going to be the best one here in this section you also need to inform your readers how exactly are you going to collect and analyze the data is it through experiments surveys or simulations for example if it is through experiments then you should share all the materials that will be required what is the step by step procedure that you're going to follow and what are the different tools and instrument that you're going to use to analyze the data and finally you should set the scope of your study basically what are some of the things you're going to investigate and not investigate in your study you should clearly lay that down here and these components together form the research methodology then comes the tentative timeline and here you need to share a reasonable schedule with the academic committee as to how you're going to manage your work and monitor the progress to complete the project in time My suggestion here would be to not underestimate the demands of the project and please come up with an appropriate timeline where all your goals are being met in the given time frame. So for example, if you are going for a PhD program, then you can show how you are going to meet all the different goals in the duration of 4 to 5 years of time. Now some research proposals might also ask you to submit a budget, especially if you are writing one for a funding grant. So here you need to share all the costs that will be involved in doing this research. For example, procurement of materials, equipment, cost of conducting the experiments, traveling along with keeping some scope for unpredictability such as experiment failures, increase in cost of raw materials, etc. Here my suggestion to you would be to make sure you are including all the costs properly because if you quote a lesser budget 
getting more money later on can be extremely difficult. Another thing you need to keep in mind is to justify all the costs that you have mentioned because otherwise you will have a challenge in getting that required funding. Now coming to one of the last sections which go in the research proposal which is the conclusion. And here we are going to reiterate the objective of our research proposal, share the significance of our research and how our research study is going to make an impact. We will also share what are going to be the broader applications and implications of our study and how it can be taken forward. And finally, the last section of the research proposal is the references, where all the sources that we have cited in our entire research proposal is neatly listed down here. And with this, we come to the end of all the sections which go in a research proposal. So guys, that's all I wanted to share with you today. If you want to learn in detail how to write a research proposal, then you can join me for my course on A to Z of research writing and presentation. In this course, I teach you from scratch how to choose a research topic, how to write each and every section of a research paper, how to choose a journal and how to get yourselves published. Towards the end of this course, I also break down for you how to write a review paper and a research proposal which is very similar to research paper writing. So to know more, the link is in the description and in the pinned comment. And last but not the least, don't forget to check out the AI tool Jenny to write your research proposals faster and more effectively. The link and the coupon code are both present in the description. And now. Thank you so much for watching this video and I wish you have a fantastic research career ahead.